Today I'm going through my top 10 favorite knits that I've ever made. Hi, my name is Bronwyn, aka Bwin Makes, and, and welcome to my YouTube channel. When I started sorting through everything I have that I've knitted over the past few years, um, I decided to narrow down on just like sweaters and cardigans and leave out any knit accessories. Um, so this will be focusing on specifically sweaters and cardigans that I've knit that are my top 10 favorite. While trying to narrow down my knits and figure out what exactly I wanted to focus on, I decided I wanted to go with my favorite knits based on the ones that are very wearable. So the ones that I feel like I grab for most often um, that you know can work in multiple different settings. Starting off with probably my all-time favorite. This is my cardigan called the Drift Jacket. So I knit this in a yarn that's actually an alpaca and wool blend, um, but there's enough alpaca mixed into it where really the wool isn't too itchy on my skin. Normally I'm pretty sensitive to like your typical wool that's not like an alpaca or merino base. I am absolutely obsessed with this knit. Um, it can be worn in multiple different ways. You could wear it with the collar all the way up. You could wear it folded down. And it's also in, I think, like the perfect shade of green. This is so warm, so cool. These cables are so just like, the cables are so funky and unique. Um, and I also really like the buttons. They're shell buttons, which I love. Um, super, super pretty. And I feel like I like that they're a different, unique shape not your typical circle buttons with the square. And I just love this sweater. Next up is my olive sweater. Um, this sweater was designed by Knitting for Olive. They're a pretty popular yarn and pattern company. You've probably heard of them. I believe they're based in Copenhagen. And I just love this because the design. Like this stitch pattern is so pretty. I also like it because it has a very fitted feel. Um, the original design of it wasn't made to be fitted, um, but I kind of modified the pattern a little bit so that it would be fitted on me and also so it would have a cropped shape. I think this is one of my favorites, not only because it's absolutely beautiful, but because I'm so proud of it. Like, it's one of those sweaters that I look at and I'm like, damn, I made that. Look at that stitch pattern. Like, it's just, it's so gorgeous. It looks so intricate. Um, this is all lace knitting. That's what this pattern is, is the lace knitting and it is just, I love it. Also, I knit this sweater in Knitting for Olive Merino. I forget if I mentioned that or not. My third sweater, also keep in mind as I'm going through this, my first one, the drift jacket, is definitely my top of the 10, but now I'm really not showing my sweaters in any particular order of like first to least favorite. These are really just now going through the 10 that I chose. So my next sweater is my fishbowl sweater, which is so freaking cute. I mean, come on, got a little fishbowl on a sweater. Um, this is a raglan design. I really like did like fair isle for the bowl. And then I did duplicate stitch for the fish and the seaweed design. Um, this was a sweater that I just completely improvised. I did not follow a pattern for. I kind of just started knitting and hoped it went in the direction I wanted it to go. So I did like color out a color work chart that I followed for the fishbowl design on the sweater. And the rest of it, I really just improved. And I knit this in Hobby Friends Merino held double on size eight needles. And I think the design is just so fun and I'm so proud of it. Next, I have this cable knit vest that was actually one of the first ever makes that I knit when I got into garment knitting. I've actually been knitting since I was like 12, but back then I really only did like scarves, hats. I did a couple like random swatches and bags and stuff, but it wasn't until four years ago when I really got into garment knitting. Um, so when I started knitting garments, this was one of the first ones that I made. And I'm actually so proud of this one because it's one of my firsts and I killed the cables. I personally think I killed the cables. Um, I just love this cable pattern. Um, this is the guacamole vest by Knit K, I think is her 
uh, is her name. And it is in this super soft, super squishy uh, alpaca yarn. And I love this purple color because it reminds me of black raspberry ice cream. Usually I do gravitate towards more neutrals and earth tones, but I just love this one. I am going to show both of these sweaters at the same time because they are the same pattern, uh, just different yarns, and I knit them at different lengths. Um, and they are sweater number 14 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I feel like this is such a famous pattern. Um, I know so many people that have knit it, and My Favorite Things Knitwear, I mean, she's like super, I feel like, big in the knitting world. This first of the two that I knit is this one in this gorgeous green. This yarn is from um, Knitting for Olive in the shade Dusty Artichoke, and I just think it's the perfect green shade. Um, this is a really simple, basic sweater, but for me on my body, it has the perfect oversized fit. Can't go wrong with green, but also just has these really beautiful details to it. I especially love the side slit that it has double ribbed cuffs and um, these really pretty details in terms of like how the shoulders are shaped. This is also a sweater that is knit top down, which I love. Um, and it's knit top down by doing short rows in the shoulders and then bringing it down from there. So this one is also a sweater number 14. Um, the only difference is this one I knit at a cropped length. So it's like a cropped instead of oversized fit. And one of my favorite parts about this one is I got the yarn from a local farm out in Colorado. Um, last year, my fiance and I were driving out to Telluride and we randomly saw an alpaca farm on our way. And I was like, let's stop in. Obviously I want to pet some alpaca. Um, <laughs> and so we stopped in and they had a store where they sold skeins of yarn. And the coolest thing ever was that this on the skeins, there was a little tag that told you which of their alpacas the wool had come from. So I bought a bunch of skeins and then I got to go and meet and pet the two alpaca whose wool was used for the skeins that I had purchased. So it was a black wooled alpaca and a white wooled alpaca. So they were combined to make this beautiful gray. Coming up next is the Bali sweater by Eggio Knits. Um, I was actually wearing this in the last video that I shared. I just love this one because it is the perfect oversized sweater. The fit is just amazing. It is boxy, it is oversized, but it's also really light because I knit this in uh, Shiboy Billow yarn, um, and that yarn is a blend of half cotton, and then 25% alpaca, 25% merino. Because it's half cotton, it's very light. It's warm, but still light. And I knew that since this sweater was so big and oversized, I wanted something that wasn't going to feel super heavy or too, too warm, like it was like suffocating me. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out with my yarn choice. Um, I held two strands double to make this. And I also knit it a bit longer than what was called for in the pattern. So I knew I wanted it oversized. Um, I think the original pattern on me would have sat more at like a mid-length. And again, I like my oversized sweaters to be really oversized. I really just knit, knit it and kept trying it on until I got the length that I wanted. Um, but I grab this all the time. It just looks so cute with everything. This blue color I think is absolutely gorgeous. It has this really subtle kind of texture in it. I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but a really subtle texture in it because it has these white specks intertwined with the blue um, and it reminds me of the ocean. I feel like I keep on saying up next or coming up next every time I pull out my next sweater, but I don't know what else to say. I've been trying to come up with like some type of wording that's more interesting or shakes it up a little from those but I can't think of anything. Coming up next is this uh, sweater vest. This vest I completely improvised. Uh, I started it back in October of this year and I knit it with um, Wool Addicts Water, which is an alpaca yarn, but it has a bit of a texture to it. It's not as curly as a boucle, but it's textured enough where um, you definitely couldn't do 
a stitch that's too, too intricate because you probably just wouldn't be able to see it. So unfortunately I do not have a pattern um, and I was not really sure how it was going to come out. I actually, when I was knitting this sweater vest, originally started with the yarn intending to knit the Ingrid Slipover by Petite Knit and then quickly realized that the yarn was so textured that the beautiful cabling details in that slipover would not show up. So I switched directions and I just went with it, decided to improv, stuck with the double moss stitch, which you can kind of see. You can see it a little bit. You can tell it has a bit of that st stitch texture. Um, stuck with the double moss stitch, knit it, uh, top down doing short row shoulders and I am so I was so pleasantly surprised with how it turned out I really didn't know what would happen with it um, but I ended up really loving it these buttons are really cool too if you can see they're like little uh, like equestrian buttons it's a just this guy riding a horse and they're gold and they're also super special because I found them at a garage sale when I was up at the New York Sheep and Wool Festival with my mom this past fall and uh, we stopped by a garage sale and I found these buttons and I knew they'd be perfect for this sweater vest. I also think it's so chic which is cool like I feel like a lot of my knits are pretty casual but I feel like this one is pretty like you can dress it up it's a bit dressier um, and I really like that. Second to last knit is the Olette cardigan, which is actually a pattern that I designed. Um, you can check it out on my Etsy or Ravelry. And I love this cardigan. I mean, one, because I designed it. I mean, it's so cool to be able to wear a knit and know that you designed it, but not only designed it, but also put in the work of writing up, testing, and publishing a pattern for it. And I'm especially proud of the pattern for this one because I made it made a uh, made to measure pattern. Um, so I wanted it to be something that could work for any shape, any size, whatever someone's unique uh, body measurements are. Um, so I'm also really proud of that fact about it. But this is the Olette cardigan. It's super soft. It is made of a, um, I believe it's like an alpaca merino blend. This wool is also just so pretty um again trying to focus but i don't know if you can tell but there is really really pretty uh colors in it so it's a brown but it has a bit of a sheen to it and there's little flecks of like blue or like a tealish blue and red i really don't know if you can tell from this video but it's just a really pretty color and I also did a single button as the closure in the middle. And this button is extra special because I found it at a vintage, uh, I guess I think it was like a vintage sale or like a vintage market with my mom a couple of summers ago on her birthday. And last but not least is this cardigan that was also another garment that I made when I first started uh, garment knitting. And it is this really pretty, super light and airy, so good for like spring and summer cardigan. Um, I do not have a name for it because I never released a pattern, but I did design it myself and like improvised and did it myself. Um, and it is made of a farmer's daughter fibers O'Dang yarn, which is, I think it's like 75% alpaca. 25% silk. It's like part alpaca, part silk. It's actually a fingering weight, um, so it's almost like it's similar to a mohair, um, but I doubled it up and knit it on size 11 needles, so it gets almost this like lace weight or lace knit look to it that I just think is so pretty. Again, so light and airy, but so soft. It literally feels like I'm wearing a cloud, and I love how dramatic the balloon sleeves are on this. Um, I'll show a better picture here, but I love the colors and honestly this blue and just the whole vibe of it kind of reminds me of like a mermaid. I don't know, very ocean vibes. Um, I'm very much drawn to the water if you couldn't tell, um, but I just, I love this. Those are my top 10 favorite knits. Um, if there's anyone that like really sticks out to you, feel free to let me know in the comments. 
and thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe all of that and thank you so much for watching bye